Hey guys, Laser Sir again. This is episode 8 in the series Facial for the Complete Beginners. And in this episode, we're going to talk about layer styles and gradients. So, if I get this off for you guys, and then we can start. Nope. So, I got this image that I took for my one of my college projects, okay. And what I want to turn this into, I want to turn this into a sort of nice texture for a background that I want to make, okay. So what I want to do, I want to duplicate this first of all, duplicate layer, background copy, like so, hide this because I don't need that, and then what I want to do is I want to apply a gradient to this layer. Okay, so if I come in, if I double click, I'll just show you how to do it, if I double click the text, it will change the name so I can write um, gradient. And then if I double click this box right here, then it will open up my layer styles. So you got drop shadow in the shadow, out of blow in the glow. I'll go I'll go through these in later episodes. Today I'll show you the gradient overlay. So if you click on if you tick this and then click on it, it will come up with the gradient overlay options. So you got blend mode opacity, gradient, style, angle, scale and all that good stuff okay so if I just turn this image off for now so we can focus on our gradient first what you want to do is you want to paint bucket in your um, image it doesn't matter what colour so black like so and then if you apply your gradient overlay to that it will override that colour anyway, so it doesn't matter what colour. Okay, so this is my gradient, and what I want to achieve is I want a bit lighter in the middle, and then it goes a bit darker in the outside, and my little texture will come for it nicely. So, what I want to do is I want to change the gradient style to radial, and like this it will be in a radial instead of linear okay pretty straightforward then what I want to do is I want to change my gradient to a different gradient so if these are gradients that are downloaded but from stock all you have hang on I'll just show you uh, reset gradients okay so this is what you have when you open up Photoshop they are quite poor to be honest how you can edit a gradient you can click on this and then this is your gradient right here so it starts off black and then it turns into white and as you can see on here it starts off black and as it goes fed route it turns lighter and lighter what you can do you can inverse this reverse this so it starts off light and then goes into this black darker so this is what I want actually so this is good with worse but then what I want to do is I want to change this color not to white and black I want to change it to sort of gray darker and I don't want the transfer between the colors to be so extreme so what I could do I could just um, double click these and then change my colors to what I want it to be so this is the white double click and then change it to red or whatever you want what I can also do I can add extra ones by clicking somewhere else and then I could change this to blue and then change this to I don't know something else okay so this is how you make your gradient it's pretty straightforward this is not what I want what I want is a nice gradient and I don't want to mess around with it too long so what you can do you can download gradients that someone else already made and the way you load them is pretty easy you just click on this load icon right here find it where it is which is right here this is the person who made it Falco953 I think I got it from DeviantArt I'm not too sure and then just click on load and it will load up all your gradients right here okay so I can see this gradient already right here I quite like this one I quite like this grey 
and then what I can do I can reverse it back so it starts off light and then goes darker what I also can do I can increase the scale of it the scale of it sorry and then the light will be bigger or the dark will be smaller so I quite like it around here okay pretty straightforward so I got a nice gradient it's not boring and plain right on my image so just click OK and now if you have a look under your gradient you got a little effect and within that you got a gradient overlay you can click on the eye to turn them off and it just basically shows what are the effects on that current layer okay I can hide them or shade them as well by clicking on this area so now I want to do I want my image that's right underneath my gradient to come through okay this gradient so there are two ways to do this well quite a lot of ways actually but what you can do you can turn down the opacity of this layer which means it will be more transparent so if I turn it down to I don't know 75 percent then as you can see the image underneath it will start coming up but also I'll start losing some of the colors because it's not it's less you know the opacity is turned down another way I can do this is I can change the layer mode to overlay oh sorry that needs to be above like so click on overlay like so okay so now basically this is laying over my gradient which is this okay and now I can turn down the opacity of it again to change it if I want it to okay and now I'm sort of getting my texture through but it's still not quite right I might want to play around with my mate um, with my modes again so I'm just going to show you guys if you click on one and see selected if you use your arrow up and down and you can go through them and play around with it so this is darken multiply color bed linear bed darker color light in screen color dodge overlay soft light hard light vivid light and you got quite a lot of them see if you like any of them I think that looks pretty goddamn sweet this is divide and you can keep playing with these and see if you like any of them some cool effects might come out so I quite like this luminosity okay but that's basically just black and white so I got an idea from this what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this image to black and white so if I just go image uh, desaturate adjustments desaturate we'll turn this image into black and white and now what I want to do I want to make the black and white stand out a bit more so what I want to do is increase the brightness and contrast so if I turn down the brightness a little bit increase the contrast of it quite a lot probably turn up the brightness no turn down the brightness a bit more the contrast all I want to see basically is the texture of it I can try out to tone it might make it look good out to contrast out to color well there's not a lot of color in it so it's not going to make a difference how I want to do I want to play around with my levels so that might work out pretty cool as well just play around with it see if you like what's going on with your image so I quite like this now let's just play around with the um, modes again now I quite like that one now I think that's looking like a pretty cool texture but I want to keep seeing wilder effects so I can get out of changing the mode I quite like that one as well that's our overlay this is soft light if I keep going then I'll get the rest of the modes that looks pretty cool too um, luminosity again 
I think the one that I liked the most was this one but now I have an issue that I want the texture to come through a bit more so I want to turn down the opacity of my gradient just a little bit because it's quite dark already okay and then this is the texture that I have I can also turn down the opacity of this one so my gradient comes through more but that will cause some issues okay so this is it for the tutorial of gradient and trying to make a sort of a texture look good or look different and then you can use it for something else I hope you liked it guys, I hope it was helpful, please leave a like, comment and favourite and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.